Okay, here at the Myrtle Beach Yacht Club. Myrtle Beach, actually it's in Little River, South Carolina. Doing a quick tour of that. 34 foot main ship, 2006 model. We're here, my dad has uh, just got done purchasing it from the owner. And it's gonna stay up here for a month or two, then make its way to Florida, have some upgrades done to it and so forth. I thought he was done with the boating deal, both big and small at 77, but apparently not. He got bored, so here we go again. Let me give you guys just a quick walk through, walk tour of it. Uh, the boat's kind of dirty right now. Uh, it needs cleaning, but uh, let's go on board. Some of these are twin engine, a lot of them are single. This has the single 370 horse Yanmar diesel. It does have balanced stern thrusters though. Now this boat only has 274 hours on it total, about 61 on the generator. These 34s, they didn't have those integrated swim platforms that was part of the hull, like on the 39s that used to leak, it was a known problem. Kind of a small cockpit, but it's okay. Decent stairs going up to the bridge, and then you access the engine room by pulling those stairs out, which we'll go in later on. The bigger 39s, you have to pull out floor panels in the salon, so this is a much better setup. Bait wells on top of the transom, storage lockers, anchor line storage, or rope uh, dock line storage in there. A transom door, you've got a shower, little fold down steps. Up to the bridge, we'll go up there later, so we'll go inside. All right, inside the salon. There's normally two chairs here. They were kind of ugly, so they got tossed. They'll be replaced. Sleeper sofa. There is a helm behind those cushions. I'll move them in a minute, the lower helm. These are galley down models, these 34s. Those earlier ones had galley up, so this whole side of the boat was nothing but basically galley and cabinet. So you had one couch over here, so I didn't ever like that plan. Coming around here. TV. So forth. We'll handle in the ceiling to hang on to in rough weather. Another bar stool here, so I guess you'd be sort of an eat in kitchen area or eat in countertop. There's a lower helm. It's going to get all new electronics on it. A little side door, which most of these trawler style have. Now, there's no oven. You have a cooktop convection, or convection, conduction cooktop. And that's your fridge, so it's kind of small. It's not the full size over under fridge. Got a nuker that's been replaced recently. Deep sink, lots of storage. Storage here. Middle window opens up. Forward berth, or the only berth, master. Hanging locker closet in there. It's hard to film, it's a kind of tight quarters. A little TV there. Galley. And it's not a wet shower, it has a regular regular shower in there. I know you can't see anything. Let's move the cushions over there for right now. Alright, let's go up onto the bridge. Now that was coming up the stairs. Somehow he's going to put a a rigid bottom inflatable dinghy which he already has somewhere on this boat there's you got the mast this folds down if need be now all the cushions are down below what you saw all the seating and on these pedestal seats there's cushions as well 
both these Ray Marine devices are going to get deep six. They're going to be, put some Garmin. These can put some Garmin units. Storage under here on both sides. There's your stern and bow thrusters. Pretty roomy up here though. The Isinglass looks like it's pretty new. Booney's in good shape too. It's a 2006 model. The guy that you bought it from is pretty anal on the maintenance. I'll show you some evidence of that here when we get under the engine room. That opened up. There's a little hole that goes down where the stairs stairs are. All right, back down in the cockpit. Let's see if there's a light on that I can turn on down there before I head down. All right, just drop down here into the bilge. 8KW Kohler generator. Got to clean the bilges. Here's the Yanmar engine. I mean, this guy, just to show you a uh, bank of batteries here. I'm kind of in a bad position here squatting down. You ever seen a bilge this clean? The guy put white towels underneath the engine. So if there ever was a drop of anything, you'd be able to see it. Is that anal or what? Now supposedly this boat will do about 18 knots wide open with an empty load. I doubt it. Uh, it'll be run at trawler speed anyhow. Uh, as long as my dad has it for the most part. Other than that, I don't have a clue what I'm looking at down here. All right. Just a side note, that 18 knots I mentioned, that would have to be like completely empty of fuel and pretty much everything with a big tailwind in perfect conditions. And this is not a planing boat to haul. It's sort of a semi-displacement hull where the whole boat kind of lifts up out of the water the more power you put to it. Making our way forward. It's got a power windlass. Got a plow anchor on it. Now, being I said this is 34, that's what they call it, but it, it could be anywhere from 36 to 39 feet overall. They don't include the swim platform or the pool pit here. The manufacturers, but when you're going into a marina, 34 is fine because they charge by the foot. So we'll go with that. Uh, yeah, there's a radar up there. You can't see it on that mass. I didn't even see what kind it was. Those are covers over the windshields Just to keep the sun out. A little step down. Just one step. And it just sort of slopes gradually all the way back to the cockpit. The dinghy will either somehow go up on the bridge with a davit, but I don't know how because there's so much up there, even if you remove the rails. So it can be on the swim platform, tilted up, or it can have davits hanging off. I don't know. We haven't figured that out yet. He's already got the dink, by the way, uh, back at, that, at his house. A new one. Uh, rigid bottom inflatable. All right, so there was a very brief walkthrough, and pretty amateurish, I might add. Walk through of a 2006 main ship 34 trawler. Alrighty then.